you can take any ratio like salary of A and B. Salary of A and B. Although oh, this thing that I'm uh, writing here or I'll be explaining in the next 10 minutes, we have done it in previous lecture, but I'm repeating because uh, that that background is needed for the uh, coming or uh, for today's uh, concept. So let's say uh, two person A and B salaries are in ratio A is to B is five is to seven. So can anyone tell that with this figure, can we calculate the salary of A? Can we calculate the salary of A? Just no, keep no. on talking. Hai na? No. Jo, kisi ko bhi pata hai, batao. Jaldi bolo. Without the micellation. Okay. Uh, I got the point. Ki, uh, what, what did you say that? Somebody said that we must need the multiplier because ratio has reduced the original numbers into smaller numbers. And to reach original, to reach original, we have to multiply uh, 7 with the multiplier to get the salary of B and 5 with the multiplier to get the salary of A. And somehow you need to have that multiplier. So <clears throat> next I taught you that uh, can we accommodate change in ratio? Like if A is to B, is 5 is to 7, again, the same ratio. And if I ask you, if salary of A, salary of A increased by 5,000, if salary of A increased by 5,000 rupees, so if Anyone's salary is increasing, A salary is increasing by 5,000. Then we are quite sure the new ratio of salary, the new ratio of salaries, salaries will not be 5 is to 7. No? This will be a new ratio because the there is change in uh, A's salary. So, of course, we cannot keep the same ratio. No. <coughs> salary is not 5 is to 7. That's for sure. But can we calculate the new ratio with this information? So, the one information that is given there that A's salary has been increased by 5,000 rupees, which is a Original number system. Why I'm telling you original numbers? Because salary is has been being your yeah, salary we must be have must have been telling in rupees. So this is the ratio, which is the reduced format, and this five thousand is the original format that five thousand rupees with five thousand rupees, the salary of A has been increased. So now tell me what would be the new ratio of A and B? Can we calculate that? I don't think so. You don't think I so. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you say I don't think so, oh, that means you still have some doubt in this, that. But you think that it can't be calculated. Uh, no, so sir, why it can't uh, be calculated? We don't know the original value. Or... Exactly. We don't know the original value of A and B. And with every different original value, the new ratio will be changed. Like, if A has a salary of 5,000, then B has a salary of 7,000 originally. If A has a salary of 10,000, then B must have been salary of 14,000. If A has a salary of 25,000, then B must have salary of 35,000. In all these cases, 
है ना इफ ए इंक्रीजेस बाय इंक्रीजेस बाय फाइव थाउजेंड विल बी गेटिंग डिफरेंट रेशियो सो विथ दिस चेंज द न्यू रेशियो विल बी इफ ए विल इंक्रीज बाई फाइव थाउजेंड तो टेन थाउजेंड इज टू सेवन थाउजेंड द न्यू रेशियो विल बी टेन इज टू सेवन इन दिस केस द न्यू रेशियो विल बी फिफ्टीन इज टू फोर्टीन आई एम जस्ट इंक्रीजिंग फाइव थाउजेंड इन दिस सैलरी इन दिस केस द न्यू रेशियो विल बी सिक्स इज टू सेवन so what you see here is we are getting different different ratios because a can have different values so until less the value a is not given or in somehow we cannot find the multiplier here we will not be able to calculate the new ratio you know the changed ratio but in reverse if i'll ask in reverse if i'll ask that Take any any of them. Like like in reverse, if I ask, you know, now the question. Just try to understand the underneath complexity of the question. Then you will easily convert it into all the situation. Because any doubt that you have in mixture, on ratio, or everywhere else, it will be based on the same fact that there will be two quantity that has a ratio which exist in their original format. There will be a change in one or two, you know. In some cases, but the most of the cases you will find change in one. A increases by increases by five thousand rupees, and the ratio, the changed ratio is given. The changed ratio is. Ratio is fifteen is to seventeen. Nay, fifteen is to fourteen. Sorry, fifteen is to fourteen. So now the initial ratio is there, the final ratio is there, and now you also know that the change in ratio was there. See, this is the case here, and you know, this happened when when A was ten thousand. So, I I I I actually uh, did it by hit and trial. I I took n number of different values of A, which is possible, and then I found out the different ratio that it will have after the increment. But I am saying that we are saying here that every value of A and B, there is a different ratio. so if in reverse if i am thinking if i have give you i have been giving this new ratio can we calculate the original one so that's my point here you will be finding similar situation everywhere where the initial ratio is there the final ratio is there and change the reason of change is there and you can be asked anything now the question here is irrelevant what is the question the question can be a initial salary of course when when you are solving the question you, you must know what exactly is being asked otherwise you will solve the problem but you will not uh, put the right answer there a final salary or b's initial salary so exactly the the question setter can ask anything but you know you have to solve just one thing is to what you need to do is you need to find out the multiplier of any this ratio so how to do it so the algebraic way says and i'll be covering the algebraic ways also the algebraic way says consider a multiplier or let assume a multiplier for this ratio which is x then salary of a is 5x and salary of b is 7x 
what I am doing here is I am increasing the salary of A by 5,000. That means 5x is increased by 5,000. And this new ratio, the, the, the salary of A is now this, salary of B is same. And the new ratio is 15 is to 14. And then I can solve it like 70x plus 70,000 is equal to 105x. And then I'll uh, put x at one side. 35x is equal to 70,000. And then x is equal to 2,000. So this is also a very simple way to do this question that once you found the multiplier here, which is x, then you can find the initial salary of A, which is 10,000. Initial salary of B, which is uh, 14,000. Change salary of A is 15,000. So this all we can get once I'll get this multiplier. But this is the way, by this way, very normal people solve these questions. But since you are studying in SMART, let me, but, what do you say? I am telling you When we are at SMART, we will be doing it in a very different way. So what I'll do here is, I will try to merge these two ratios. So the initial ratio is 5 is to 7. After increment in A, final ratio is 15 is to 14. And in order to merge it, in order to merge these two ratios, what I need to, and, and what is the meaning of merging? Meaning of merging is, now I can say, or here I can say, the multiplier is different for these two ways. When I'm trying to merge it, I'm trying to bring common multiplier for both the ratio. So to get, to get the common multiplier, what I need to do is, I need to find out, I need to find out any common quantity that exists between these two ratios. So what, what is the common quantity which, which exists in these two ratios? Tell me now. What is the common quantity? In both of the ratio, which quantity is not changing? Salary of B. Salary of B. Exactly, salary of B. So, salary of B here is being donated by 7. Salary of B here is being donated by 14. Just a second. 14. So in order to merge this ratio, what I'll do, I will change uh, the value of B in according to this, so that at both places, the B would have should have equal ratio term. So what I'll do, I'll make B 14 for the first ratio. So then the initial ratio will be 10 is to 14. And I'll remove this ratio. And now that the initial ratio is 10 to 14, where I did not change the ratio, I just changed the multiplier. And now initial and final ratio will have same multiplier that you can guarantee or we can take the guarantee that it will be same multiplier because if uh, multiplier is X, the 14 into X would be B and 14 into X would be B here also. Same multiplier, and this is the my result of merged ratio. Now, after merging it, I will check what was the change. 
the change was what a has increased by 5000 and what i am saying here a is increasing by 5 so this 5 has a value of 5000 then 1 has a value of 1000 so this is my new multiplier or this is my multiplier. What is new? This is my multiplier. So now if someone is asking me that what would be the salary of A? I will initial salary of A. So 10 into initial salary of A. 10 into 1000. Because I found the multiplier and the ratio term is 10. A final salary 15 is to 1000. B initial salary, it is 14 here, so 14 into 1000. Did everyone get that? Yes, sir. Snehal is trying to ask something. Tell me, Snehal. I don't 10 or 14. Which one is 10 or 14? जो A का जो रेशियो है जो हाँ. 5 is to 7 से मैंने 10 is to 14 क्यों किया हाँ. वो इसलिए किया क्योंकि B का जो वैल्यू है वो दोनों जगह मुझे सेम करना है तो इन फाइनल रेशियो इट इस 14 इनिशियल रेशियो इट इस 10 सॉरी 5 नहीं सॉरी 7 इनिशियल रेशियो the B has a value of 7 so when will 7 and 14 become equal at 14, it's like going to the common multiple. multiple. Okay, okay. So, so 7 and 14. Ha, exactly. I just multiplied the initial values of ratio by 2 to reach 14. So this is how we merged the ratio. Did you get the point? Yes, sir. Okay. So now... I'll give you a different example here. So here what happens, the, the only A has changed. Sometimes they both might change. They both may change. I, I'll take one such example. And see, you need to convert the same situation everywhere because everywhere you'll be finding almost the same thing. Now, this is one favorite question which is being asked by all the exams that the two person A and B has a ratio or A, their ages are in ratio. What people do is like they call it problem based on ages. Do not call it problem based on ages. It's just like it, it it has the new situation that accommodates the same problem which was explained earlier. But here, what is the situation that A and B has an average of 3 and 1. 3 is to 1. One might also say it A is thrice the age of B. So this information can be given by given uh, in any way. But like if, if I say that A is thrice of B or B is one third of A, the thing is same. And what I'm saying, after nine years, after nine years, A and B will have a ratio of seven is to three. So initial ratio is there, change, concern is there, what has been changed, and the new ratio is there. Again, I'll solve it in both ways, because if you are not understanding, understanding the uh, way in which I am merging the ratio, then you can do it in the previous way. So if, if I take multiplier of first ratio as x, the value, the age of A is 3x. 
and the age of B is X one year. And then it increases by nine. And since after nine years, then it will also increase by nine. And this will give you your second ratio, which is seven by three. So this is one way to calculate. You can just solve it for X. 3x plus 9 into 3 cross multiplication up the rogue and 7 into x plus 9. So yeah, 9x plus 27. And it will become 7x plus 63. And then it'll go 2x is equal to 63 minus 27, which is what? 36. X is equal to 18. So when you get the X, you can calculate anything. Initial age or present age of A is 54. Present age of B is 18. After nine years, the age of A is 63. After nine years, age of B is 18 plus 9, which is 27. And if you reduce this, you'll get the same way. So you can calculate anything by this way. And this is a very good and exact way to calculate it. But again, let me brag about marvelling. You'll be not you'll not be doing it with this way. Because it takes time to solve and create a equation and there will be a lot of places where you can make any mistake. So what I'll do is, like in the previous example, I have two ratios. A and B present is the, which is 3 is to 1. I have two ratios. And after nine years, A is to B is seven is to three. Now tell me in order to what I'm looking here, I'm looking to merge these ratios. To merge Madla, make the multiplier same. And in order to do that, we need to find common thing that exists at both places. So now tell me what is the thing which is common at both the places? In initial or in after nine years, in, in their areas, what is the thing which is common? Both the age of A and B is increased in nine years. That's fine. That's an increase. But what is common at both the places? At the ratio, in the ratio so format. C. No, B is also changing. B is also changing by nine years. If A is, if I'm calculating the age after nine years, if A is, in, A is increasing and then B is will also increase. What will be the equal quantity or quantity B. with B? ये भी तो चेंज हो रहा है ना ये तो समझा ही रहा हूं तो मैं कि ए और बी दोनों नौ साल से बढ़ रहे हैं तो नथिंग नथिंग ए और ने और बी और में से दोनों में से कोई भी कॉमन नहीं है दोनों पे बताओ इलासिका तुम बताओ अंशिका तुम बताओ कॉमन सेंस लगा के बताओ व्हाट इज सेम एट बोथ द प्लेसेस So basically, the real challenge is to find the common quantity. Ansika, can you tell? No. No. Ilasika? No, sir. Okay, Ilasika, one more thing. If your brother, how much younger than your brother? You are younger than your brother? Five years. Five years. So when he would have been at the age of six years, 
तो तुम एक साल के हो गए है ना हाँ, हाँ, तो रेसी, रेसियो होगा सिक्स टू वन होगा ना हाँ सर एंड आफ्टर फोर ईयर व्हाट विल हैपन आपकी उसकी एज हो जाएगी टेन इयर्स हो जाएगी ना हाँ सर और तुम्हारी एज कितनी हो जाएगी फाइव ईयर अब रेशियो कितना हो जाएगा फाइव ना मतलब चार साल ही तो पढ़ा रहे हैं हाँ, तुम्हारी हाँ. एज हो जाएगी फाइव ईयर और रेशियो कितना हो जाएगा टेन इज टू फाइव इज टू इज टू वन सो यहाँ पहले सिक्स इज टू वन था फिर टेन इज टू फाइव हो गया विच इज टू इज टू वन Yes, इन दोनों जगह पे कॉमन क्या है कि आपका एज गैप इज ऑलवेज सेम समझ में आ रही मेरी बात हाँ सर सो व्हेन टू पर्सन आर देयर एंड देयर एजेस इज बीइंग इंक्रीज बाय सर्टेन क्वांटिटी और सर्टेन ईयर तो वन थिंग व्हिच रिमेन्स कांस्टेंट इज देयर एज गैप तो यहाँ पे नाइन होगा यहाँ नाइन कहा है Sir, three years. नहीं अभी तो पता ही नहीं है ना मैं एज गैप क्या है तुम लोग ऐसे क्यों बोलने जा रहे हो तुमको ये देखना है कि इफ ए एंड बी आर देयर तो फर्स्ट केस में एज गैप कितना दिख रहा है रेशियो के टर्म में टू टू मैंने बताया है ना कि इफ रेशियो इज देयर इफ इसका कोई मल्टीप्लायर होगा जैसे मान लो इफ द मल्टीप्लायर ऑफ दिस रेशियो इज एक्स तो ए का एज थ्री एक्स बी का एज वन एक्स तो उनका गैप क्या होगा थ्री एक्स माइनस वन एक्स वर्सिस टू एक्स तो मल्टीप्लायर तो गैप पे भी यूज होगा सो द रेशियो टर्म फॉर गैप इज एट दिस प्लेस टू एंड इट दिस प्लेस इट इज व्हाट फोर द गैप इज फोर आर यू सीइंग द फैक्ट कि द गैप शुड बी सेम And if you want to make the your ratio same, we need to make the multiplier constant at both the places. And in order to make the multiplier same for both the ratios, I tried to find out common quantity. And in this case, we found out that their age difference will always be same. So in initial ratio, the age difference is being denoted by two. In final ratio, age age difference is being denoted by four. So what I'll do here is I'll make these two figures of age denotation same. Same करने का मतलब क्या करेंगे हम? I will reach to the common value, which is common multiple value. Two and four का common multiple क्या होगा? चार ही होगा? Four. Four होगा? So I will change this ratio by multiplying it by two. So the new ratio, well, not new ratio, the present ratio of A and B can be changed to six is two two. I multiplied it by two. So now age difference is what here four, and here also you are getting same age difference, which is four. now the age difference part has been made same that means the multiplier is common are you getting my point everyone do ratio ke multiplier ko same karne ke liye unki common quantity ka jo value hai ratio mein usko same karna hai yahan common kya tha age difference वैल्यू क्या क्या था एक जगह दो था एक जगह चार था तो वी मेड मेड द फर्स्ट वैल्यू एज फोर बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग इट बाय टू है ना ये आसान है समझ में आ गया सबको डिड एवरीवन गेट दैट हाँ सर ये सब ओके सो नाउ वंस यू गेट द रेशियो मर्ज रेशियो देन यू कैन एक्चुअली रिलेट द चेंज The result relate the given change to find multiplier. So the given change is what the new ratio happens after nine years. So the gap of these, you know, six to seven. The gap is what one. So one has a value of nine years. So the moment you got that, you know the multiplier now. The value of one is multiplier. 
एंड नाउ इफ समन इज आस्किंग टेल मी रजनीस क्या बोल रहे हो तुम सर वो सिक्स इज टू टू वाला एक बार और समझाइएगा प्लीज वैसे थ्री इज टू वन है जी वैसे और उसका गैप कितना है दो का जी तीन और एक में गैप कितना है दो है ना दो है सेकंड केस में सेवन इज टू थ्री है जी उसमें गैप कितना है चार का।, का तो हमें ये पता है कि ए और बी के एज का गैप तो सेम होगा दोनों जगह पे यस सर है ना गैप कहा चेंज होता है जैसे तुम और तुम्हारा भाई अगर तुम्हारा भाई तुमसे दो साल पढ़ा है तो पूरे जीवन दो साल पढ़ा रहेगा जी सर है कि नहीं अगर तुम्हारे पिताजी तुमसे तीस साल बड़े हैं तो पूरे लाइफ तुमसे तीस साल बड़े रहे ओके सर ही मल्टीप्लायर चेंज होता जाएगा मतलब रेशियो चेंज होता जाएगा बट गैप नहीं चेंज होगा गैप नहीं ओके सर समझ गया तो एज गैप को सेम करने के लिए मैंने गैप रेशियो के गैप को ही सेम कर दिया एक जगह दो था एक जगह चार था तो आई मेड इट टू मतलब फोर एवरीवेयर तो अब एक बार जब रेशियो मर्ज हो गया दिस इज माय मर्ज रेशियो वंस इट इट गॉट मर्ज तो चेंज मैंने देखा एक का है छ से सात एंड दैट वन इज एक्चुअली नाइन बिकॉज इट इज गिवन देयर तो नाउ यू नो द मल्टीप्लायर अब तुमसे पूछ रहा है ए का इनिशियल एज तो नाइन इंटू सिक्स बी का इनिशियल एज तो नाइन इंटू टू मल्टीप्लायर इंटू दीज वैल्यूज अब एक बार चेंज हो जाए तो इसी को रेशियो मानना है इसको नहीं ये नहीं कि नाइन से इसको मल्टीप्लाई करने लगे नाइन इज टू सिक्स फिफ्टी फोर नाइन इज टू टू एटीन देखो यही आया था ना यहाँ पे भी जब हम अलजेबरा से भी सॉल्व कर रहे थे फाइनल रेशियो क्या होगा मतलब फाइनल वैल्यू क्या होगा एज का तो नाइन इंटू सेवन हालांकि तुम इसमें भी नाइन एड कर दोगे तो बात वही हो जाएगी बट अगर मल्टीप्लायर के थ्रू ही निकालना है तो नाइन इंटू सेवन सिक्सटी थ्री नाइन इंटू थ्री ट्वेंटी सेवन आई बात समझ में बोलो जी सर यस सर ठीक है अब एक और एग्जाम्पल इस तरह का देखते हैं ये प्रॉब्ली वो एग्जाम्पल है जो कोई अपने डाउट में पूछ रहा था उसमें ऐसा था एक किताब में क्वेश्चन होगा सो वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन वंस यू स्टार्ट डूइंग इट बाय मल्टीप्लायर कंसेप्ट यू विल नॉट हैव टू यूज द पेपर पेन द क्वेश्चन वाज मिल्क एंड वाटर वाज इन रेशियो टू इज टू वन इन अक्सटी लीटर सोल्यूशन वॉट क्वांटिटी ऑफ वाटर शुड बी एडेड टू मेक द रिक्स मिक्सचर in 1 is to 2 milk and water ka 1 is to theek hai so now again aapko agar algebraic tarike se nikalna hai so you will say that i'll divide the 60 liter into this so milk ho jayega tumhara 40 liter and water would be 20 liter now let's say you are adding x liter of water so milk divided by water now 20 plus x ye 1 is to 2 ho jana chahiye yahi diya hua hai sabko samajh mein aa raha hai ye bolo yes sir पानी में एक्स मिलाया वी एडेड एक्स लीटर ऑफ वाटर इन इट द न्यू रेशियो बिकम वन इज टू टू तो क्वांटिटी ले लिया और इसको ऐसे कर लिया ये भी बहुत आसान तरीका है देर इज नो डिफिकल्टी इन डूइंग दिस तो एक्स इज कल टू सिक्सटी ये सब कुछ समझ में आया चलिए बोलो यानी सिक्स लीटर पानी एड किया हमने बोला कि ये आसान है 
but still you should use the method of ratio merge. The initial ratio is 2 is to 1. The final ratio is 1 is to 2. After adding water, Ab mujhe batao, for these two ratio, what is common at both the places? The amount of milk. Perfect. So I'll make sure the amount of milk or the value of milk, which is represented by ratio figure, should be same at both places. So pe agar do hai, so I'll multiply it by two and it will become four. ठीक है इसको हटा के ये कर दिया नाउ दिस रेशियो बिकम मर्ज्ड तो यहां पे हमें पता है मर्ज हो जाने के बाद आफ्टर मर्जिंग द रेशियो वी जस्ट नीड टू क्वालिफाई फाइंड आउट व्हाट विल बी द मल्टीप्लायर तो ये हम मुझे यहां से मल्टीप्लायर मिल जाएगा 60 लीटर इज डिवाइडेड बाय 3 सो दैट 20 इज द मल्टीप्लायर so initial water value kya hai? 20 liter. Final water value kya hai? 80 liter. So kitna pani dalna pada? 60 liter. 60 liter. So dekho, filhal, till now you are finding that this way of doing question is far easier. And a kitte loko samadre method one and method two agar mai bolo approach one or approach two, which is easier? Bolo? So, second one, matlab mai first one say karti thi mostly, her hmm. time. Mare is a poor book, sub logo I think at that, one day I say while I got that. And it's not tough, but again, it's little lengthy. You need to calculate. In the second part, whatever I have written on the board, that is just because I have to explain it to you. Otherwise, agar if you'll see in the, the little, like, if you use your math skill that you have, you will try, you will just see that, uh, you can just find out the answer without writing anything here on the paper. You just need to merge the ratio or that you can do mentally. So is it okay to agree with everyone? This is the second example. I'll not be uh, giving a very typical uh, example here, but one more example that I want to give is here is This again, the question of uh, merging the ratio. So there are two person A and B whose income are in ratio. Is 12 is to 11. Sorry. 12 is to 11. 13 is to 11. Okay. Income break ratio kya hai? The income RN ratio. Expenditure ratio is Six is to five. So there, the ratio of their income, the ratio of their expenditure, both are given here. And it is then if they both sorry, 
if they both saves twenty thousand, then they can ask anything. A income. So the question are irrelevant, but still it's very important that you should note that what is being asked. A is expenditure. B is income. And B expenditure. So these four are still very obvious, but they can ask you anything. But the key thing that need that is needed to solve here is same. So again, I'll be doing this question in both way. The first, I'll do it in algebra way. What I'll do, I'll take the multiplier of first ratio as x and second ratio as y. Now the income of A will become 13x. His expenditure will be 6y. And if I'll subtract, I'll be getting 20,000. The second is, the first equation over here. The income of B is 11x. Expenditure of B is 5y. And he again saves 20,000. Now, you just need to solve these two equations and you can find x and y and you can calculate everything. But when you want to so do it through merging, and once you know that what is merging, merging is making the multiplier same. So I have two ratios. One is for income, which is 13 is to 11. This is for income. And one is for expenditure, which is 6 is to 5. What is the common quantity at these places? Yeah. Can you find anything common to these place? So basically, there is nothing which is internally common. But what I should know or I you should know is the difference should be same here. If you want to get the same multiplier, their difference should be same because income minus expenditure in receive figure. If it is not same at both the places, then multiplier cannot be equal because they save equal amount. They save 20,000 each. So now what I see, the difference is 7 here and difference is 6 here. Okay? Are you getting my point? So I need to make these, these, these two different same. So I'll just multiply it. I'll try to do it by hit and trial also. Okay. Or again, you can also find the equality like the, if their difference in income and their difference in expenditure should be same because they save equal amount. So to do it, this would be much easier way to see it. Difference in their income. And difference in their expenditure. Should be same. Then only their saving would be the same. So here difference in their income is 2, difference in their expenditure is 1. I need to make it same. So 1 and 2 will be same at what place? They will be same at 2. So the income ratio is 13 is to 11, the difference is 2. I'll double this ratio, which will become 12 and 10. Then in this case, both will have the difference of 2. 
and what i am getting here the the difference between income of a and b income and expenditure of a is one or income and expenditure expenditure in b is also one so this one which is equal to both the places suggest that we have done it right now i know this one has a value of what one has a value of 20000 now whatever they are asking if they are asking a is initial salary no nee, sorry a is income 13 into 20 b income 11 into 20 a expenditure 12 into 20 and b is expenditure 10 into 20 so you can also do it through algebra but this is much easier and when you will try to do question of mixtures Where mixture is changing at multiple phases, then you will find that merging the ratio is a great tool to solve those questions. So, with this, I end the lecture. I am ending this lecture, which is for merging the ratio. Uh, uh, we will have a problem solving class also for ratio, but that will be done later. till then you will just do the exercise and appear for the test so that after test and most of the question from the test will be based on merging the ratios okay so you all need to revise